So in today's video, I went on the cheapest holiday in the UK. The Sun offers holidays all over the UK and Europe, which are meant to cost as little as £9.50 per person per night. They say that for the cost of 10 newspapers, you will have a holiday to remember. So we booked one to see if they were actually that cheap. Also, we wanted to see what the supposed cheapest holidays are actually like. <laughs> So the holiday park we are going to be staying in is in South Wales. It is actually owned by Park Dean. It is also rated a four star park, but we will have to find out if these ratings are actually true. So today is the day we go down to South Wales. It's currently half past 12 at night. We're just about to set off. Got a five and a half hour drive to get there. So we began our long, long five and a half hour drive to the holiday camp in Wales in the middle of the night. So I actually mentioned the place we're staying in. It is called Pendeen Sands Holiday Park. I think it's Park Dean. Best thing about this time of morning, completely empty. Do you want to like pan the camera? Oh, you're a natural. Excited? <laughs> <laughs> I am, it's good. So after a quick stop, we carried on our journey to South Wales and at about 9.30 in the morning, we arrived. So we are now in South Wales. As you can see, we are at a place called Tenby. This isn't where we're staying tonight. We are staying in a place called Pendine. It is about 10 o'clock now. So it's took us like eight hours to get here and we can't check in until four o'clock. So we've got quite a while to wait. So we'll walk. Not a bad view. Can we manage walking right around there? So while we wait until we can check in, we're just going to do a bit of sightseeing. I've heard about it. That is apparently haunted, and I think Joe Weller actually stayed in that. So yeah, um, it does look quite haunted. It looks a scary place. So after a bit of failed ghost hunting and a bit of sightseeing, the time was nearly four o'clock, which meant we could nearly check into the holiday park. It's a bit of a weird way to get to the holiday park. So it's pretty much in the middle of nowhere. It's just very, very dodgy roads. What do you reckon the campsite will be like? Very nice, I would think. We will see, hopefully. And here we are, we have arrived at the campsite. It looks luxurious. Well, Look at that. Sandra. Wait, so we're on like the left side. I think we're over here somewhere. That one there, that's, yeah, that's the one we're staying in. I don't think we've got a key. This is it from the outside. Pretty standard from the outside, but when you come inside, let me just show you. Bang. That's a good, good caravan. It's massive. That is a sea view. And then obviously, all of the rooms down here. They've also gave us entertainment passes so we can go watch like the shows and stuff. That comes with it. It's massive. This is the double bedroom. Look at the size. This is the biggest caravan I've ever been in. Oh no, oh Christ, look at that line. That is bad. No. What's on the accommodation? It looks very nice, very nice indeed. Even the flies are uh, quite clean. Shout out to the Sun Holidays, picking us a good caravan again. It is a really, really good caravan, I think. I'll give you a quick tour of it now. So as we walk in, we've got the kitchen, a nice kitchen, I guess. That's how you could describe it. Then you've got the living area and then the dining table, the bathroom. Obviously everything you need in there. We'll come and see your bedroom first. Massive bedroom, the biggest bedroom I have ever seen in 
a caravan. I could probably lay down here and I'm six foot. Very, very big bedroom. And then the second bedroom, uh, which is in here, is just two single beds, as you can see. That is pretty much the caravan. That is our accommodation. Good choice from the sun holidays. So what is actually on a £9.50 holiday campsite? The first thing we noticed was that there was many, many restaurants. We decided to head to one of them to try out the food offered on site. I don't know how well we can hear because it's really windy right now. We've just been in one of the four restaurants on site, had a pizza and it was really good. It was £10 but I'm going to try for a pizza. Also we had like a view across all the seafront. There's also the show bar which has like the arcade and like the stage where they do performances in it but we're probably gonna go there tomorrow. This guy ran next to us looks like it's been abandoned. It's literally falling apart. Welcome to a brand new series on the channel. What can I fit in my granddad's bed without him knowing? Episode 1. <laughs> what on earth are you putting? <laughs> That's stupid! <laughs> what are you putting in there? <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> the second day in paradise. Right, look at this shower head they've got on. Just a bit of perspective. It is minute. Oh no, I've still got that line. On day two, we wanted to explore the nearby area. So we went to this island just off the coast for most of the day. <laughs> so we've arrived at the nearby island of Coldy Island. That doesn't make sense. We've arrived at Coldy Island. Apparently on this place, there is some monks living here. You should fit in really well with the monks. No, not not because of that. You've got the same hair as them. <laughs> I don't know how well you can hear me because it is very windy up here. But look at this view all around here from the top of the island. That over there is where we came from. Pretty decent view. So we're just about to go out and see the entertainment they're doing. Who do you reckon will be on? Holly Drummond. I don't know who that is. I reckon Elvis. It's always Elvis. Not far off with Elvis, we've got Robbie Williams. Not the actual one, a tribute one. Start chanting when Robbie Williams come on. We love you, Robbie. We do. Robbie Williams! Well, he's not there. He used to be, you know the words, cool up. Oh, no, no, let's tell me. Not touching me, not touching you, sweet Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> performance. Five, five tickets. I can rush it out. Overall, the entertainment was good. They were playing the classics like Ooh Ah, Ooh Ah, Ooh Ah, Walla Walla Wing Bang. That was a good one. So it's the third day and we have come to a local town called Saundersfoot and we have entered into a duck race, which will be quite intense. There is a 50 pound prize for the winner. So there's a lot at stake. So I'm with the owner of Duck 821. How are you feeling ahead of the race? I'm a bit nervous. Nervous times. 20 minutes till the start of the race. And look at the crowds. Man, I think it's sold out. Here we go. <laughs> this is the biggest sporting event of the year. Yay! And they're away. Pretty even start for all of them. <laughs> Christ, the, the, the pace. Oh, the, the zooming down here is a blur. I think we're in the lead. Look at the crowds. It's packed. Go on, get stuck. Yes! 
It was an absolutely thrilling race. Where did your duck come again? 115th. Not far off the podium. So after the intense race, we headed back to the campsite to experience a bit of karaoke. I think we've got karaoke tonight. How many times do you reckon let it go will be sold? Five times? Easy. So this place also has a swimming pool. Here it is, the easy swimming pool, no slides or anything. So it's our last night here. We leave tomorrow morning. Welcome back to part two of what can I fit in my granddad's bed without him noticing. Iron in board. Yeah. Well, are you a good night's sleep? Shit, <laughs> <laughs> Catherine. Come here, I've had enough of it. I bloody well have. Bloody hang it for in my bed. It's not funny. Get it out. Bloody idiot, man. Oh, that's brilliant. Look at that. <laughs> you're, not, you're not sleeping with it. You don't want to sleep with it. Get it out. So, just packing our stuff up and then we will be checking out how you found the caravan. One of the better caravans? As good as any, yeah. Yeah, I agree. So that is it. Goodbye, caravan. It has been very, very good. So how much did this holiday actually cost us? Well the total for the three nights was £158. That was for four people, which works out at £52.66p per night. And then the price per person per night is £13.00. And 16p so a little bit more expensive than £9.50 so that was the supposed cheapest holiday in the UK